printmaking demo. So here I have my printing plate. I'm going to show you how to use to how to make a printing plate and go through the whole printmaking process. Here I'm just sketching out my design. I was inspired by Chloe's sea turtle design swimming through the garbage. So I'm sketching out and I'm pressing really hard so my pen makes an indent in the printing plate. And here are all my materials, plexiglass, a brayer, which is the roller, barren, which is a banana leaf presser that you use to get nice pressure when you uh, make your print, and then of course your printing plate that you design yourself. So when I'm ready to print and I have my printing plate all designed and ready to go, I'm going to take just a really small amount of of ink maybe like a quarter size amount and i'm gonna squeeze it out onto my plate then i'm gonna use my brayer to spread out the ink make sure you have a brayer that rolls really nicely this one's getting a little stuck so i switch them out and now i have a real nice one and you can see in the video that when, you, when you're rolling out the ink, it should make kind of sharp, sticky lines. The ink is pretty sticky. So uh, roll back and forth, lift up your brayer a few times to make sure the whole thing is nice and coated. And you should hear a sharp, sticky sound. Then once the whole thing is coated, you take your brayer. And I'm going to leave a little side on the left-hand side for my fingers to hold down my print like a little margin and you just spread out the ink back and forth now that soaked up the ink really quickly so i'm gonna coat my brayer one more time with ink on my plexiglass and i'm gonna roll it over my print design again so you shouldn't see much um white from the printing plate coming through all that should really be coming through are the lines from your design and this is because once you're ready you're going to line up your paper and press down lightly and then use that brayer to get really good pressure. You might want even want to stand up and press down to get a good amount of pressure. And then you're going to take the corner of your paper, hold down your printing plate, and slowly pull it off. And oh, do you see that print? Now this is okay because this is the first print. So this is the first time your ink has been coated or your plate has been coated with ink. So I'm going to try one more time. This is something that some students found last class is that your first print usually is not your best print. So I'm going to try one more time. I'm going to recoat the brayer. Go back and forth. And you should see nice even lines that your brayer leaves on the on the plexiglass plate and then I'm going to recoat my plate one more time using small quick strokes to make sure it's nice and even you want the ink to be um, a, the same amount of ink over the whole printing plate and then I'm going to take a new sheet of paper about the size of my printing plate just a little bit bigger press down with my brayer one more time and this time I'm going to use a little bit more pressure because my print didn't turn out very dark last time so I'm going to make sure to take a little bit more time to get nice good pressure I'm going to pull up by the corner one more time nice and slow and this is such a better print than last time so remember, you want to get a few good prints out of your printing plate while you're printing because it goes pretty quickly. So you should be able to get two or three really nice prints. And once you have your two or three nice prints, you're going to write your name, take a paper clip, and if you don't have a good print, if you messed up a few times, like on my first print, I'm just not even going to save that. So I'll crumple it up and recycle it <gasps> and make sure you put your paper clip on the string first before you hang up your print so it catches and it won't fall and these plates are reusable so yes I know they're styrofoam we kind of messed up but that's why we have to be super intentional about how we use our printing plate so rinse it off rinse off the rest of your materials and then you can just set your printing plates on the towel on the side of the room to dry to use for next class.